Ever wondered where the sickle cell disease originated from? It's a question that's puzzled scientists for centuries, and the answer, interestingly enough, lies in the heart of Africa. You see, sickle cell disease is a genetic disorder that affects the shape and function of red blood cells. Instead of the usual disc shape, these cells are crescent or sickle-shaped, hence the name. This abnormal shape causes a host of problems, from severe pain to organ damage. But why did this problematic mutation come into existence in the first place? The answer is bound up with another disease that has long plagued humanity, malaria. In Africa, where malaria is endemic, it was discovered that individuals with one copy of the sickle cell gene were less susceptible to the deadly disease. This is because the sickle cells were less hospitable to the malaria parasites, essentially providing a protective effect. Over time, this genetic trait was naturally selected for and passed down through generations, leading to a higher prevalence of sickle cell disease in regions where malaria is common. However, having two copies of the sickle cell gene, one from each parent results in the full-blown disease. Individuals with sickle cell disease suffer from a variety of health issues and have a reduced lifespan, but they also continue to carry this genetic trait that offers protection against malaria. It's a classic example of what scientists call balanced polymorphism, where two different forms of a gene coexist because each has its own benefits and drawbacks. This fascinating connection between sickle cell disease and malaria provides a window into our evolutionary past and shows us how our genes have adapted to our environment sometimes in unexpected and challenging ways. So, we can trace the origin of sickle cell disease back to Africa, but how has it evolved over time? The story of sickle cell disease is not just one of disease and suffering but also of survival and adaptation. It's a testament to the complex interplay between our genes and the world in which we live. The journey of sickle cell disease through history is an intriguing one. Our tale begins in Africa, where the sickle cell trait first emerged over 5,000 years ago. It arose as a defense mechanism against malaria, a deadly disease spread by mosquitoes. Individuals who carried a single copy of the sickle cell gene had a survival advantage in regions where malaria was rampant. As people migrated, they carried the trait with them, spreading it across the continent. The journey of the sickle cell trait was in many ways intertwined with the movement of people and civilizations. The transatlantic slave trade played a significant part in the spread of sickle cell disease. Millions of Africans were forcibly moved to the Americas during this dark chapter of history, and with them, they brought the sickle cell trait. The trait reached the Americas, the Caribbean, and parts of Europe, marking a new chapter in the journey of this disease. In Africa, the prevalence of sickle cell disease has seen rises and falls over time. In regions where malaria was common, the trait was more frequent. However, as anti-malaria measures became more effective, the prevalence of the sickle cell trait began to decrease in some areas. Yet, in other parts of Africa, particularly in sub-Saharan regions, the disease continues to be a significant health challenge. It's important to note that the sickle cell trait is not a death sentence. Many people who carry a single copy of the gene lead healthy lives. However, when a child inherits two copies of the sickle cell gene, one from each parent, they develop sickle cell disease. This condition can cause severe health problems and in some cases, shorten life expectancy. The journey of sickle cell disease isn't just a story of a genetic trait, it's a testament to human resilience in the face of adversity. It's a story of how people, cultures, and diseases have moved and evolved over time. The journey of sickle cell disease through history is a testament to human evolution and migration. Sickle cell disease has a significant impact on the African continent. In Africa, sickle cell disease is a prevalent health issue. It's estimated that each year around 200,000 children are born with the disease on the continent. That's more than half of the global total. This genetic condition inherited from both parents distorts the red blood cells into a sickle shape, causing severe pain, infections, and even life-threatening complications. The high prevalence of sickle cell disease in Africa is largely due to the malaria connection. The sickle cell trait when inherited from just one parent offers a degree of protection against malaria. This is a classic example of evolutionary trade-off, where the benefit of surviving malaria outweighs the risk of inheriting the full-blown disease. But the burden of sickle cell disease in Africa is not just about numbers. It's about the daily struggles of patients and their families. It's about the challenge of getting a timely diagnosis and the difficulty of accessing appropriate care. Many African countries lack the necessary infrastructure and resources to deal with this health crisis. 
The healthcare system is often overwhelmed and patients may have to travel long distances to get to a clinic. The cost of treatment is another hurdle. Even though effective treatments exist, they are often too expensive for many African families. But there's also a silver lining. Across the continent, efforts are underway to combat sickle cell disease. Governments, non-profit organizations and healthcare providers are joining hands to improve awareness, diagnosis, and management of the disease. Newborn screening programs are being implemented in several countries. Treatment options are expanding, and research is ongoing to find a cure. This battle against sickle cell disease is not just about improving health outcomes, it's about social justice. It's about ensuring that every child born with this condition gets the chance to live a healthy and productive life. The fight against sickle cell disease in Africa is ongoing and it's a battle we must win. Science has been instrumental in understanding and combating sickle cell disease. In the early 20th century, the scientific community began to take notice of this disease that had plagued Africa for centuries. They discovered that sickle cell was a genetic disorder inherited from parents who each carry a copy of the sickle cell gene. This marked the first significant breakthrough in understanding the disease. As our understanding of genetics grew, so too did our understanding of sickle cell. In the mid-20th century, scientists discovered the exact genetic mutation that caused the disease. This was a mutation in the HBB gene, which codes for the hemoglobin protein. This protein carries oxygen in red blood cells, and a mutation in the HBB gene causes these cells to become sickle-shaped and less efficient at carrying oxygen. African scientists have also made significant contributions to the understanding and treatment of sickle cell. Nigerian-born physician, Dr. Olu Akinyanju, founded the Sickle Cell Foundation Nigeria in the early 80s. His work has been instrumental in bringing attention to the disease in Africa and developing treatments and support for those affected. In the last few decades, advancements in genetic technology have led to even more promising breakthroughs. Gene therapy, which involves replacing the faulty HBB gene with a healthy one, has shown potential in curing the disease. While still in its experimental stages, this revolutionary treatment offers hope for a future without sickle cell disease. Moreover, the global scientific community continues to make strides in developing treatments to manage the symptoms of the disease. Hydroxyurea, a medication that reduces the frequency of painful crises and the need for blood transfusions, has been a game-changer for many patients. These scientific breakthroughs have transformed our understanding of sickle cell disease and have brought us closer than ever to finding a cure. The tireless work of researchers from Africa and around the world has given us invaluable tools in the battle against sickle cell. Science has given us hope in the fight against sickle cell disease. What does the future hold for sickle cell disease in Africa? This is a question that has been at the forefront of scientific and medical discussions for many years. And the answer is one filled with hope and promise. The fight against sickle cell disease in Africa is far from over. However, the relentless efforts by medical professionals, researchers, governments, and nonprofit organizations are gradually changing the narrative. Today, we are witnessing an era where more emphasis is being placed on early detection, comprehensive care, and public awareness about this genetic disease. This is a significant shift from the past where sickle cell disease was largely misunderstood and stigmatized. Now, it's understood as a public health concern that requires collective effort and innovative solutions. And innovations are indeed on the horizon. One of the most promising advancements in the fight against sickle cell disease is gene therapy. This revolutionary treatment involves replacing the faulty gene that causes sickle cell with a healthy one. While still in the experimental phase, Preliminary results have shown promise, giving hope to millions of people living with the disease. In addition to gene therapy, researchers are also exploring other advanced treatments such as stem cell transplants and new drug therapies. These treatments aim to manage the symptoms of the disease and improve the quality of life for those affected. But the future of sickle cell disease in Africa is not solely dependent on medical advancements. It also hinges on the continued efforts to raise awareness, provide education, and improve access to healthcare facilities and services. It's about creating an environment where those affected by sickle cell disease can live full, healthy lives. While the journey has been long and challenging, the future of sickle cell disease in Africa looks promising. With continued research, innovation, and a collective commitment to change, we can look forward to a future where sickle cell disease is no longer a life sentence, but a manageable condition. And that indeed, is a future worth fighting for. If you found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, 
and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching.